Growing up as an athlete, I always felt like every time I got injured, I didn't really feel like I could find the answers. I felt confident in anybody I can go to to kind of look for those answers. So I figured I'd take that journey on myself. How can I help people that have been in my position get to those goals, get to those heights, and find the answers that they're looking for? I also felt that there was also always a disconnect between where people were going to look for these answers and who can actually get them going in the best direction at the right time. So I felt like that was a journey that I'm gonna be passionate about. I'm just passionate about helping people. When I came onto campus, I didn't know what the lifestyle of some of my sweet mates were gonna be like. Like, hey, I come from a family that's extremely clean, tidy, neat, and just sanitizing everything all the time. So as soon as I got onto campus, I'm like, I'm gonna lose some relationships right away, or these guys are gonna love me. But I got onto campus and I told these guys, I'm gonna make a cleaning schedule. I'll be the first one that cleans. But every single week, this dorm room has to stay as tidy and as clean as possible. And yeah, I just made some relationships and friendships out of that. So that's my funny story. I came into this profession, into this job, thinking about just treating people, just putting my hands on people through like manual therapy and movement and getting people going in the right direction. But what it evolved into is, what's most rewarding for me is finding new and innovative ways to influence people, to help people. And it's actually grown into more than just this, this thing that is chiropractic to me. I've found ways to influence and impact people in other spectrums, other avenues, other lanes. And the most rewarding thing is just being creative, getting an opportunity to, I have this tool with my hands where I always have it in because everybody has a body and everybody's injured and hurt all the time and that in allowed me to generate and create relationships that kind of has broadened my horizon. Uh, my favorite story I probably love to tell is uh, the company I work with is uh, called Myo Detox and one of our core values is knowing yourself and I love telling people the story about Whatever lane, whatever industry you work in, you just need to have some self-talk. Be, be your own best self-critic. And think about the things and avenues that you know you might not feel confident or strong at and really go in full tilt and try to champion that lane. Like for example, believe it or not, I didn't really love public speaking at first. And to get more comfortable about talking to people about that, I knew that that was my, my downfall and one thing I get shy and nervous about. So I just felt I need to take it on myself to champion that lane. And I felt like that about marketing as well. I didn't come into this profession knowing a lot about it, feeling very confident with that. And because of that, I went YouTube University, like everything I could learn about championing that lane. And that's a story I really like to tell.